الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب from amongst the characteristics the fifth characteristic that Sheikh Al-Islam Ibn Al-Qayyim mentioned رحمه الله تعالى that needs to be analyzed within the context of the Sharia and kept within the bounds of the Sharia is Ar-Raha. Ar-Raha, ayu al-Ahbab, refers to re relaxation, being relaxed, taking rest and comfort. Qala Shaykh al-Islam, rahimahullah ta'ala, relaxation has its limit which is to strengthen the soul as well as the slave's consciousness of Allah and his efficiency in preparation for the acts of obedience and acquiring good deeds as well as multiplying them while the opportunity is available. And then he said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, this is so the performance of these deeds doesn't tire him out, nor does it have effect, nor does it affect that nor does it have effect on his iman, on his faith. And nor does he iman, his iman weaken. Whenever this quality exceeds its limit, it becomes negligence, laziness, and a waste of time. And the slave of Allah will forfeit most of the things that would have been beneficial to him. And when this quality falls short of its limit, it becomes harmful to his vigor by exhausting it in things that will bring no benefit to him. And perhaps it may even cause him to give up good deeds altogether. Ayyul Ahbab, Shaykh al-Islam here is mentioning, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, the importance of raha, this characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, that we need some of the cases he's mentioning. Number one is the case in which a person goes beyond the bounds with their raha. Meaning a person being excessive in sleeping, always resting, becoming lazy in effect. This person, not only do they have, uh, perhaps they will gain have health problems, but ayol ahbab, by being excessive, it will cause them to become uh, lazy with regards to doing good deeds. They're always resting. They're not going to pray any extra prayer. They'll only get up just for the wajib, for the obligatory prayer. And perhaps not even that, but it depends on how excessive they are. So this is a very dangerous thing. That it that breeds laziness, being excessive in resting. And then the other situation, the other extreme, is a person who does not rest at all. They're vigilant all the time. But in this situation, this can also be a danger that they're not giving their body its rights, giving it the rest that it needs in order to do good deeds. Because this person can be so excessive and so active that they no longer do good deeds. Because they, they, they're too, uh, you know, they're, they're they're, they become too exhausted to do righteous deeds. The middle, uh, middle case scenario, Ayal Ahbab, is the way we want to be. Is that we use the rest to strengthen us to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our body has a right over us. We give it that right. We're not excessive. We rest in order to worship Allah better, to strengthen us to do our deeds, to do good deeds, and to do those things that we need to do to function in our various societies and communities. This is the middle path that Islam encourages us to be upon. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq in having the correct proportion of rest so that way we may do the acts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do the acts of worship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do, and that we can avoid those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.